got to finish the other thing. out here trying to pick up the release from corn that the combine may have missed. They don't miss much, but they miss some. It seemed like a quarter year. I made it through the combine. There's another one, a couple nuggets on it. Uh, sometimes that helps. There's a lot of wood there. I mean, I some of it's probably salvageable for projects. He said, help myself. Trying to get my buddy out here. There's some stairs there. That uh, I could utilize. Matter of fact, I could use that as some sort of decoration. I may have to do some sawn, but there's potential there. There's some 4x4s and 2x4s that still might have some life in them. Here's a thin wood laying on the grass for a while. Usually you'll get snakes and mice to live under there. Sometimes you kick them out, sometimes you don't. Uh, most of the uh, itching weeds should be uh, dead or dying. Uh, so I think I'll take the more obvious path. If I'm not wearing jeans, and I should have. <laughs> really should have jeans on. But. We'll kind of cruise through here and see if we scare up anything. Just trying to get some walking in, get some sun in before I head into work. It's good exercise. And uh, it's nice and relaxing too. So I don't know. Last time my neighbors have been back here, you could be coming back here in the evening. We're just missing each other. I haven't seen them for a while. Looks like we got another camper down here. But for all I know, he could be back here. <laughs> you never know. Well, it looks like he's moved things around a little bit. Got a bolt back here in storage. He's got a beat-up car. I don't know what he's planning to do with that. Got a gas grill so he can cook. I think he was using that for shade. I used to hunt back here a lot. Here would be a boat. And here we'll have a good view. Those are one of the places I used to hunt. 
just for a stand. There's a foot one in the tree over there. There's a foot one there. So what it'll do is it'll give me a really good view of the ravine down here. That's a pretty good view. And, uh, there's a lot of rock in here so it doesn't get muddy. He's got a pen. I don't know if he's going to bring a dog back here or what. Not a very big pen. This is the main trail I used to bust down. And you can tell you can see a lot further now. Something kicked out over there, probably a squirrel. They just look for movement. Once they move, I can pretty much zero in on them. Until then, they're usually pretty safe. You know, a lot of times, if you just walk through here like you don't care, and the animals just think you're another animal. But if you try to be sneaky, well, then that spooks them. Of course, there's all these leaves. Uh, the chances of walking silently are pretty much over. So I don't worry about it too much. There's another kind of good area to hunt. Anytime you have a little clearing like that. And uh, just up ahead is where I would kick up deer. What we got going over there? Something looks weird over there. Oh yeah, that's that bridge. The bridge of death. So, uh... Pulls it, you can cross on it, but I'm not willing to test it. I'm too old for that stuff. Used to have a stand right in this area. <coughs> Anything to be in here now would be sleeping. I mean, a lot of times, if it gets really windy, uh, they'll move out in the open area. So there's a stand right there. Could have been one of my old ones. I did leave some back here. So it's a pretty locate. That's a pretty good location. A lot of deer move through there. I got that stand there. That animal trail there. This is a good place to kick deer up. It's not making a lot of noise. A lot of times they'll wait until you get close before they take off. Getting a little bit more open here. This is a place where they bed. Got lots of trails. Deer trail there. Deer trail there. Found an old deer trail here. Rich 
man. If I would have bought this property. But it was a little, a little too rich for my blood. At the time. And it still is. I don't know if that big jackpot's still going on. So here I'm nice deep in the woods. There's Mud Creek again. Don't look like we kicked up any wildlife today. Like I said, when it's windy sometimes they go out in the open and lay down so they can you can really see what's coming towards them. Now we haven't had rain for a while. We've got sections of the creek that are dry. So that's interesting. And chances are you might have some trapped fish in there. Tail hawk. He's out that way direction somewhere. I think he's flying. So that noise you hear when they're showing a bald eagle is not an eagle, it's actually a red tail hawk. And the reason to do that is because the bald eagle sounds more like a chicken. <laughs> Oh, they use the red tail hawk. They sub that noise in for it. So, time to head back now. What I'm going to try to do is pick a trail that's not loaded with poison ivy. So there is a lot of that back here. You have to be careful, otherwise I'll be I'll be an itching fool, <laughs> and that's no fun. Oh, moved over here now. He's got to be in the air. Ah. Alrighty. Yeah, we're taking a different way back. Definitely a good spot here for deer hunting. I'm surprised there's not a stand in here. I'd put one right there in that tree right there. Or in that tree. Set up really, really good. So, even though I don't walk as far distance wise when I go back in the woods, exercise wise, you are getting more of an exercise. I hear him. Oh, he's over there. I just don't see him. Yeah. I think he's across the creek. So, I don't know where I'm at. A couple ways I can get out of here. I think I want to come back to where I just because I know there'll be less 
poison ivy that way and more of a usable trail. There we go. I can see clearly now. I can see the camper up there. Main trail's over there. I'm kind of just found some deer trails. Cutting in a kitty corner. And it's just nice to get out in the woods. I mean, this is just so relaxing and peaceful. Nothing to worry about out here. You know, the biggest predator predator around here is probably the coyote which wouldn't want to mess with me I'm too big and not only am I too big but I hang them on uh, never go on these excursions unarmed and there's a 99.9999% chance that's totally unnecessary. But there's always a chance. And the worst way to be is in need of a friend and not have it on you. Seems kind of silly. I did you buy it. But, oh, this is so, that's so nice, so relaxing out here. You know, I could set up a, a hammock and probably just come out here in the morning and nap, especially in this weather. And it's warm like this. And this will probably be probably the last opportunity. It's going to be in the 30s and 40s all next week. I'm probably going to continue that way. That was the reason that I came out here to do the, the hike. You know, I was pretty active this morning. You know, hung, this, hung the panels up, winterized the deck, uh, threw discus, covered the central air, did some lifts with the dumbbells, uh, cooked breakfast. And Mrs. and I, she stayed home again today. She's not feeling well. Hopefully by tomorrow she'll be better. And on Saturday, I'm on my way to Arizona. So tomorrow I'll probably check in. And it should be easy. No, bu no baggage. Just going to have a pair of jeans on, some shorts underneath. I'll probably just wear two t-shirts and a and the uh, my long sleeve shirt. And that should do me. Because I mean there are Saturday and there's Sunday and in the wee hours of the morning Monday. I'll be back in Chicago. So I'm back out of the woods. Yeah, I'm just going to shoot across the corn here. Make a direct shot to the house. Oops. Who knows? I might find some rocks. You never know. But everybody have a wonderful day. And uh, tomorrow, I should be live streaming to Shorewood. Uh, at least bench. Probably some uh, seated brushes. Seated brushes. Alright, so, Green Sky Fitness, and Farms in front of the house.